Okay. So basically, uh, not even like a couple minutes after I post up, post up my last video, uh, there was another update for 1.2, which is basically all the stuff here, patchy stuff. And pretty much essentially, if you're going from 1.1 to 1.2 doing all the stuff I did, uh, to make the install c less confusing as possible because it changed a lot of shit. Like, here's the startup UI. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll say two of my points aren't going to work because they're bounded by Skype. But I'm talking to someone on Skype, so I'm not going to close that out. But basically, it'll say all these points are available, and then when you start the server, they'll bind them to that server. And then it'll say, here in this box, um... It'll say if your certificate's installed, and if your host files are changed over, and it'll say, yeah, and then it'll say if it can connect to the server or not. So he made a nice little UI to, you know, make that all work. And then even when you have it all done right, sometimes it'll still say the certificate's not installed. You just recheck the input components, and it'll fix that. So there's no worry about that. But basically what we have to do is, for the certificate part, it's now changed up to where you don't just place it in trusted. Well, you do place it in trusted, but after that, I'm just going to hit cancel because I've already done this. Well, it's not going to kill it anymore, whatever. I'll just do it, just to do it. So basically, yeah, it'll say it's in successful, and then then you install it again, and then what you do is you let it do it automatically this time. And that way, if you already have it installed, you just do it those both times, and it'll fix that problem. The host file should still be the same. I mean, I don't think it changed to many. So we'll go to Windows, System32, uh, Drivers, Drivers, where are you? There you are, etc. Copy, modify, doesn't matter because they're the same fucking host, anyways. And go all the way back. Then I already have an order installed, so you just install it with that. It doesn't change anything. You just make sure that you don't have. Uh, shared hardware specifications and you know updates. And just make sure you don't check those during the install. Um, let's see here. What else is there? Oh, the Apache thing. I had a bit of a problem with this. Um, it wasn't working properly when I first updated the whole thing. But what I did was I took the config thing back out of the folder and I put it back up here. And I think that's what fixed it, because the PID was missing. And then every time it runs now is when it runs with the PID. Like, see, normally I can't have it running, but when I have my Skype off and I you start, it starts up now. So you don't have to run it manually anymore. The starting will fix that for you. It'll do all that stuff for you. So he, he really improved the start EXE. It doesn't just freeze up and stuff like that. I don't know why I opened it back up. But, um... Yeah, and that's pretty much it. And after that, you just download the game from Origin, because you should be able to log in now with just some random whatever. Like, it even, Origin even automatically puts your thing from the start EXE onto his his email address, and you just type in whatever password. It doesn't really matter. You can change the fucking email thing if you want. It's just a dummy thing. But you download the game, and then it's basically a roll of the dice. You either will get in, or you won't. So, best of luck to you on that. This should clarify basically everything up. Um, the Stunnel folder, after this update, doesn't matter. It won't fuck with the start EXE anymore or anything. So, you can leave that if you want, but I just deleted it anyways, just in case it did do anything later on. So, I just re deleted it after I've restored it. And basically, another thing to help with uh, possibly getting it to work for you is making sure your internet's off. People have been telling me that. I tried it for a bit. I've tried it several times. I, I've even turned my internet off from started by a computer. Did all kinds of shit. Put myself in DRZ mode and, you know, all that nonsense. And it still doesn't help much for me. So I still get the same error. But hopefully I'll eventually be able to come across fixing it. And I can tell other people how to get past it. And, you know, all that fucking stuff. And that's pretty much it. Uh, these two stop things, you don't need these anymore. It exits and stops on its own now, so you can delete them. I just left them there because they don't fuck with anything, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, this is pretty much what your folder should look like. You know, you have that patchy, the extra, and stuff like that. And then the only thing 
you need to change is pretty much nothing now. Like, it pretty much works on its own. You don't need the con folder, you don't need the to delete the HPP ID thing because it comes up on its own and stuff like that. So it's pretty much on its own working fine. But yeah, I just wanted to clarify that install up for people going from 1.0 or 1.1 to that install so they don't have like Chaos Infusion thinking it broke itself all of a sudden, which it just didn't. It's just one more step you need to take in order to get it to work properly. And that's it. Alright. Take care, have fun, enjoy yourselves, and whatnot.